not shooting the ball particularly well right now. We've got some guys that can shoot it better, but until they get in the gym and start knocking down shots, I want the ball to go inside. Even, even when we didn't make shots, we got a good uh, number of offensive rebounds on our misses. Uh, we got fouled tonight. We went to the line 30 times. I mean, it's, it's, it's the way you do it, but I don't want to take them away from wide open, inside out, great threes. Um, never want to do that with a good shooter that's proven he can make them. But it's because you can't take away their confidence. We've talked about this before. If you take away their confidence, then when you need them to step up and make a big shot, they can't do it. So, uh, you know, he's a very good player. Uh, he got off a little bit of a slow start. Uh, her whole uh, game plan going into the game was kind of shut him, shut him down and don't really let him get going. Second half, uh, he started making a lot more shots. He did, I think, four jumpers in a row on the end. You know, it's just, yeah, it's like, it's just how it goes sometimes. But he's a, he's a good player. He's a good matchup. You know, we had to clean that up and we had to meet as a team and, you know, and focus and, you know, start executing our sets, which is to get the ball inside as well as, you know, play off each other. And their home court is like one of the best in the country. Uh, the night I was there, it was snowing, blizzard. I um, had no heat in the hotel. I went in there, and I can't believe people were back out of arena when it was blizzard like that. So it tells you what kind of passion they have basketball here and tonight how I like this environment, good environment. And uh, I'm glad we played here instead of being over there because if we couldn't handle this situation though, it would have been really great. It would have been 40 over there. It would have been something to play that would be major.